Welcome back to your Kingsport blog video update. I'm Jeff Fleming and uh, it's good to see you again. Uh, the concerts downtown are in full swing. Uh, we're having record crowds this year. If you haven't been able to get out on a Thursday or Friday night, would certainly encourage you to do that. Um, all of the shops are staying open first Thursdays particularly uh, with great specials and encourage you to check out all the good local uh, goods in downtown Kingsport. Uh, the Downtown Kingsport Association is planning its big July 4th event. Uh, be sure and mark your calendars. It'll be a fantastic uh, day with the Catalinas, uh, some beach music from the Carolina coast, uh, also to be capped off by uh, some great fireworks that evening. Uh, cash mobs are going great. Uh, if you're not familiar with cash mobs, basically it's an organized effort to get folks to visit a local business uh, in the downtown area and spend at least $20 to show them appreciation uh, for being here. The most recent one was held at Carriage House, uh, which has been in downtown for 37 years. You know, we hear a lot about downtown businesses coming and going and who's successful and who's not successful. And sometimes we forget that there are some who have been here for many, many years and continue to make a great contribution. So uh, uh, again, the last one was at Carriage House and be sure and watch for the next upcoming one uh, to be announced in July. Uh, Downtown merchants um, tried the Saturday in the city downtown, staying open late on Saturdays, and they have decided that they're going to move that to Friday nights to coincide with the Bluegrass concert. So if you have some shopping to do, uh, be sure and visit downtown Kingsport. You can get a bite to eat, catch a concert, and do a little shopping while you're down here. So look for that uh, every Friday throughout the summer. Kingsport.com has been launched, which is a partnership with the Times News. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, the City of Kingsport, um, as well as um, uh, Move to Kingsport. So check out kingsport.com. It has a mobile app that will take you to all the things you need to know about Kingsport and uh, good work done there by the digital, uh, Times Digital Group. Uh, the Sculpture Walk has 10 new pieces that are uh, have been um, mounted in downtown Kingsport. We encourage you to to drop by and take a look at the new pieces. Um, I participated in the unveiling with the artist's uh, walk and the explanation. And uh, I know my dad's favorite, and, and I've heard a lot of buzz about the one in front of the library, uh, that is the bird watcher. So a lot of folks uh, getting their picture made uh, with the bird watcher. So you might want to check that out too. Uh, the Kingsport Area Transit System now has improved service with a Johnson City Kingsport connection. I know that that has been talked about for some time and now you can actually ride the bus from Kingsport to Johnson City. So for more information about that, check out the Kingsport Transit website or give them a call. Annexation, we continue to work on the John B. Dennis Highway area near the Kingsport Speedway. Uh, we're, again, we're focusing on areas that already have sewer um, and very soon we'll, we will be getting the next phase of uh, Colonial Heights. So we're working within the area bounded by Fort Henry Drive uh, I-81 and I-26, so if you're in that general area along Lebanon Road, Chesterfield, those, those areas, uh, that's where we're going to be focusing next. I uh, recently had the opportunity to speak at the Kingsport Tomorrow annual retreat, and it's hard to believe it's been uh, 20 years, uh, actually more than 20 years, since uh, Kingsport Tomorrow first did their visioning for downtown Kingsport. And in preparation for that talk, um, I had the opportunity to kind of go through the original comments and plan. And, you know, in 1987, 1987, one of the comments was, we need a college in downtown Kingsport. So it just goes to show you how long it takes sometimes for uh, ideas to turn into to action and then actually become a reality. So, uh, you know, we continue to plant those uh, seeds for today so that future generations can uh, reap the harvest. Uh, Cosby has, uh, the Small Business Initiative, has had several, several events going on to help promote small businesses in Kingsport. If you are interested in starting your own business, I would highly encourage you to visit the Cosby website. That's K-O-S-B-E dot org or dot com and uh, see what they can do to help you with that small business. The idea is that the, the, the greatest way to create individual wealth is to have your own business. But we also know that small businesses have a very high failure rate because there's, there's lack of planning and support. Cosby is here to, to help you make sure that uh, you have the best chance to succeed right here in Kingsport. Uh, the Economic Development Board recently approved the acquisition of the Bray property on Sullivan Street, which many locals know as Supermarket Row, 
It involves about seven acres bounded by Sullivan Street, Clinchville Street, and Press Street. It does not include the entire block, but it does include the two main parcels um, that are owned by the Bray family. So it's about two-thirds of that block. Um, the Economic Development Board and the city have that uh, targeted for redevelopment as multifamily Class A uh, apartments and lofts. We have uh, conversions in the downtown Kingsport area for lofts, but we don't have new construction for folks that may be interested in that. So it's, again, going to be a long-term solution, uh, but we are making steps to ensure that we can continue the progress um, that you've seen across the street at the Kingsport Press. Also with the Economic Development Board, they put into place um, $800,000 tax incentive for Frank Theaters to locate at the mall. Um, recently, Marquee Cinemas decided to let its lease expire at the mall, and so Frank was recruited to backfill that space. Uh, they also plan to make a major expansion in the flat area along the two-story uh, face at the main entrance to the mall near Garfields. Uh, so they will build the new stadium seat theater they will occupy it and then they will close the existing theater and renovate it with 24 bowling lanes. Um, it, it's going to be so much more than a theater and bowling lanes. It's going to have um, food, it'll have uh, drinks, it'll have arcade games, it'll have uh, numerous opportunities for the whole family to enjoy an entertainment destination. Uh, the mall owners were planning to build all of that anyway, but what we what we incented was the addition of an IMAX. So they will pursue, uh, pursue the installation of the IMAX technology as they build these theaters and uh, of course the incentive is entirely predicated on it being an IMAX type uh, screen. So we, we believe that will be unique uh, within a 30 mile radius and it will give folks a uh, distinct reason to come to Kingsport. So again, we're, we're, we keep trying to add to our portfolio of uh, amenities that cause Kingsport to be uh, the best place to be. That's your quick update from Kingsport Blog, uh, um, Kingsport Blog. and you can always check out kingsportblogger.com for more updates and sign up to receive emails.